Welcome back. On today's video, I wanted to do a review of a program that is an alternative to Adobe Acrobat Reader. Now, many people are familiar with Adobe as a PDF software that you can use to read PDF type programs, portable document format programs, and it, it has great functionality for what it does. If you need advanced functionality, then you have to step up to Adobe Pro, which costs a significant amount of money. So the program that I use is one called PDF Exchange Editor. And I'm not sure if you can see this up here, but it's PDF-XCHANGE Editor, PDF Exchange. And what this program does is it allows you to take PDF editing to the next level. So let's walk through a few different things. I downloaded a picture here, or I printed a picture of just some Latin text. And in a lot of PDFs, what I do at least with my day job is I need to go into PDFs, I need to be able to highlight, edit, modify, um, look around, and then remember what I've done. In a standard PDF format, you can't do that. It's basically an image. So if I come in here to try to select the text, it really won't work. And if I do the same thing in Adobe Acrobat, it does the same thing. Now, sometimes Adobe and some versions of Adobe will give you some basic functions, but this program goes above and beyond. So the first thing I want to do is I come in here to the convert section and it allows me to OCR the pages. OCR is optical character recognition and it gives me a few different options. And what I'm going to do in this one is I'm going to come in here to all. I'm going to leave my language as English. It does have a few different options that you can utilize. The accuracy I'll set to high because this program has pretty low quality text on it right now or the, the image that I'm looking at. And then it does a few different things that I'm not going to go over and I'll just hit OK. And you'll see it'll go through here and it'll start to scan the document and try to pick out the text. In my experience, this program does a fairly good job. While we're waiting for it though, I'm going to hit pause and I'll be back when it's done. Okay, I'm back. It has finished recording. And we're going to go in here and show you now what you can do. So before, this was just an image. If I come up here and select Select Text, it'll allow me to highlight the text on words and sentences that it has recognized. So this will not be as in-depth as other reviews, but this will show you how to use it basically. So if I want to come in here and make a comment, I'll come to the comment tab, and it gives me all these different options that I could do. Now, most people are familiar with sticky notes on text, but this again goes to a different level. So I can actually take this and maybe I want to select this sentence here because it's something important. I've now highlighted that. I can double click it and add my comments directly to that section. Maybe I want to come down here and go to a little different section but then I want to be a little bit more specific as to what I'm looking at and color code that. So I can come in here, I can make that red, add comments to that section, and maybe these are different ways to organize a file. For example, I'll usually use green for good, yellow for caution, red for bad as I'm going through it. So those are different portions. In a PDF, sometimes there may be language that we don't want. So I can select the strike out and go ahead and strike out different text that may not be important to us or we may want to have removed from a PDF. This is important if you're exchanging contracts or documents and people aren't giving you a Word document, an MS Word document to use. Other things that we can do is we can come in and add shapes. Uh, we can add little clouds around things. This comes in really handy on drawings. If you're trying to make a, a drawing look a, bit, a little bit different or identify portions that you want people to make changes to, you can resize those. You can delete them once you've done that. It's really cool on what you're able to do altogether. We can come in here with this section and say, well, I want to erase or I want to replace that text with different language. It'll give you a replace text bubble so that the person on the other end knows that you're requesting that they replace that text button. And then you can make comments. Um, you can import, export, show, flatten, make comments. The flatten is where if you've done the OCR and you want to add your comments, then you can flatten them so they can't be deleted. So again, you're, you're editing a PDF in more of an advanced, for, or an advanced manner. Now, something else that I will do use a lot in drawings, especially if I'm looking at construction plans and things along those lines, is what's called a callout tool. And if this were a drawing or something that I wanted to identify, I can actually put that, point to it, and say, change this so that people know exactly what I'm talking about. Or if I want to replace it with something, I can put that specification in there. If you're filling out a form, you can use the typewriter box where you can come in and say, okay, I want to add something in this section, and this is my name, perhaps, and I can type it right in, even if the form is not an editable PDF. So these are basic features within the PDF Exchange program that you're able to use that are much more advanced than what you'll get from 
a Adobe Acrobat Reader. Now, if you come up here to pdf-exchange.eu, this is where you would be able to download the program. There is a free version and then there is a paid version, depending on what you want to do. Uh, the, pers the version that I use a lot would be the PDF Exchange Editor. I don't need anything advanced and that, per that specific version is $56 total cost with one year of maintenance included. If I don't need the maintenance, I can keep this forever and just use that standard version and continue using it until I want to upgrade again, if ever. If you wanna use the free version, you can use the free version. It has a lot of these features, including some of the OCR information. It just won't be as accurate or as advanced. So I hope this is helpful to you. If you would like to see more software reviews of this type, let us know down in the comments below. If this has been helpful to you, consider liking the video and consider subscribing to the channel for more videos like this. If you know someone, of course, that can benefit from this, feel free to share. Thanks for being here. We'll see you on the next one.